Hi everybody, I'm Mike Staver. This is Mondays with Mike, a weekly video series where I answer questions from people just like you. Here's this week's question. I'm thinking about starting a business. No, no, no. Remember this face. Ah! That's it. Just kidding. I'm not putting you down if you start a business or own one. I own one. Here we go. I'm thinking about starting a business. I have a friend that is in, that is interesting. That must be must be interested. I have a friend that is interested as well and has some money to invest. Now we're talking. What are your thoughts about business partners? Oh, man. I've had them, and they were great. I've had uh, three business partners in my life. Love them, love them, love them, all three of them. What I discovered about me, though, is I'm not a business partner person, and I'm sure they would say that's true. I'm just not that guy. And that's probably true uh, if you knew my favorite song. Anybody have a guess of my favorite song? Desperado by the Eagles uh, is my favorite song. Followed by Colder Weather by the Zac Brown Band. Followed by Turn the Page by Seeger, by Bob Seeger. Um, yeah. So, and then the next one, Don't Touch My Truck. But I digress. So, um, I'm probably not the best person to ask this question. Um, here's what I'm going to share with you. And this is a thousand percent my opinion. I am not a lawyer. I am not a, um, a financial advisor. I'm just going to tell you this. Do not have a partner where you have the exact percentage of shares. That's the first thing. Um, because you, you're going to get into a conflict. The second thing. If you have a partner in the business, make sure you have a fully, 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 ratified buy-sell agreement and a prenuptial agreement. And what I mean by prenuptial is the day you start talking about a partner, the two of you need to talk about what it's going to look like when we break up. I have counseled and coached multiple business partners who go through a divorce, who did not have a buy-sell agreement, who did not have a fully executed divorce decree, basically, that said, if we want to go our separate ways, this is the way we're going to go. So guess what get happens? Lawyers happen. Court happens. Friendships get lost. All kinds of things go down. And I will tell you that it isn't pessimism to have your break up ducks in a row before you get married, by the way, literally and in business. So if you've got a good partner and they've got money, negotiate the partnership. Do not become desperate and negotiate the buy, sell and the divorce decree prior to the time you go in business. Here's why. You will find that you will, you will feel much more comfortable and it needs to be a mutual executed buy, sell, which means either party can can uh, can uh, call out the buy sell in the event that a divorce is necessary. I don't want to say that a divorce is going to happen, but the reality is a lot of business partnerships don't work. We get enthusiastic because we have a great idea and we can go out and have dinner and beers together, but then we get under the hood and start working together. It can be very, very, very different. So that's what I think about partners. Be careful, have an executed buy sell and an executed breakup decree. Make sure that the shares are clear and who has power. And let me share one more thing with you. Make sure you articulate before you start the business, who's going to do what and who's going to make what decisions and who's responsible for what. Do not believe, we'll just work it out. Let's just get started. Do not do it. That's what I think. If you have a question, send it to mikestaver.com forward slash moneys with Mike. We'll work it in. Take care.